Well, good morning and welcome to our devotion time. I trust you're doing all right. And we are going to continue now looking at Genesis chapter 6, verse 9. And in verse 9, we discovered that Noah was a righteous man. We discovered that he is a blameless man. And now here at the end, we're going to discover that he walks with God. And this Hebrew word that is described to talk about Noah walking with God is the same word we see in chapter 5 talking about Noah's grandpa, Enoch. And if you remember, he walked with God and was no more. Well, this same word is being used to describe Noah. He is a, a man who walks with God. So what is this word that uh, is in Hebrew here that's translated walks with God? Well, the idea of walking with God is a, an idea of uh, just going where God goes. We stay put when God stays put. Uh, it's the idea that, that Jesus uh, based his life on. Uh, if you remember, he talked to his disciples. He said, I only do what I see my Father do. And so that's the idea there, that as we walk with God, we do only what we see God do. We reflect his life in our life. Uh, it's the same idea that we see described when Noah led the Israelites out of captivity in Egypt towards the Promised Land. If you remember, they were guided by a cloud during the day and a fire by night. And in their story, when the cloud stayed put, then they set up camp and they stayed until the cloud moved on. They didn't go anywhere until the cloud moved. And so that's the same idea here for us in our, in our scripture verse today. Noah walked with God. He yielded to God. And that's the idea that God, I believe, is calling us to as well, that we walk with God, we go where He goes, we yield our life to Him. It's kind of like uh, the idea of a ballroom dancer. You know, you have the lead and uh, then the follower, and the follower uh, just makes the same moves that the lead makes, and they come to a point where they look as if they're, uh, the, the two partners are, are one on the dance floor. And really proficient ballroom dancers, the partner gets to a place in their life where they anticipate what their partner is going to do. And it becomes a spectacular thing to watch. I would encourage you sometimes to look up on YouTube uh, some of the ballroom dancers and see just the, the amazing way they, they've, these partners have become one to, to uh, dance together. And that's the idea that God is giving us today. He calls us, not only Noah, but he calls us as well to walk with him, to go where he goes and to stay where he stays, to anticipate his moves, to yield to his spirit that uh, we may form this partnership of uh, beauty. Well, that's all I have for you today. I look forward to visiting with you Sunday, either at the church or by internet. And I trust uh, that uh, God will bless you this weekend as you worship him, as you share in his grace and share his grace with your neighbors around you. Well, God bless. We'll see you soon. Bye now.